Okay, so we are now doing 5.3.4, which is a configure NAT lab. So we're going to configure NAT in a PFSense router, which if you aren't familiar with PFSense, it's an open source router. You can download the software for free. There's lots of support out there. It's pretty great. You can also buy hard hardware to load it on, but um, I don't know what version they're running here, but it doesn't really matter. It's all the same. So we're going to go at SSW0RD. I don't recommend using that password, but it makes it easy for us to put it in here. Okay, so we are in our PFSense router. And what do we need to do here? We need to allow RDP and TCP protocols from the LAN network to the PC1 computer located in the DMZ. So DMZ, it's our demilitarized zone. It's where you put computers that are access or servers that are accessible by the outside world to have it segmented from your internal network. And it gives you a lot of control in which ports are open into those servers to help protect them. Okay, so we are going to go to Firewall, Firewall controls all of this, and we're going to go into NAT. And I'm going to add a rule. So we are going to go from the WAN interface. The protocol is going to be TCP. And let's see, this one is, oh, this one's going to be, yeah, TCP. And we're going to a WAN address, and the destination is going to be MSRDP, which is a remote desktop. And our target IP is 172.16.1.100. And we're sending it to RDP. So we're just mapping that RDP port through. And I went too far. Where's MSRDP? There we go. Okay, MSRDP, taking that around. And now our description is going to be RDP from LAN to PC1. Okay, so I'm going to hit save and apply that. Let's do a quick check of our answers to make sure we're good. Oh, we missed something there. What did we miss? Oh, we're taking it to a LAN address, not a WAN address. Thought that sounded weird when I was saying that out loud, but we're going to go to um, destination is a LAN address. Let's see if that makes it happy. Nope, what am I still missing? Oh, interface LAN. Okay, apparently I'm off to a rough start. Yeah, because I wasn't thinking. So if I would just read, so we're going from the LAN network. Okay, we're going from the LAN network, not the WAN side for the, the RDP. Okay, hopefully I didn't confuse you too much with that. Let's check, make sure we're good now. Okay, great. Let's, maybe this next one I'll read a little more closely. Okay, now we are going to allow the SSH protocol from the LAN network. Okay, so I'm going to do LAN network this time right off the bat. To the Kali Linux server located in the DMZ. Okay. Um, should be able to leave the destination to any, but Kali, I think, was out in the WAN, so I'm going to do a WAN address. And the destination port is SSH, right? SSH, let's find SSH. And our target IP is 
172.16.1.6. And then our target port is going to stay SSH. We're not mapping it to a different port. We're going to just use the standard SSH port, which is 22. I'm going to copy the description. Let's paste that in. Oh, it didn't paste it right. Okay. SSH from LAN to Cali. All right. We'll hit save. Apply. We'll check our answers. Oh, what did I do wrong? Did something wrong again. LAN TCP destination type. Oh, the destination. It's still on, it's on the LAN too. Which is interesting. I would, I guess they're doing the DMZ on the LAN, so I should have looked at that more closely. So let's change that SSH to LAN address. Okay, so we're good to go. Destination type is LAN address. Let's see if I can get one the first try without messing it up. How about that? Okay, so now we're going to allow RDP protocols from the LAN network again. So we're going from LAN and to the web server located in the DMZ. So we know that's a LAN address as well. Now that I've finally caught on to that. Okay, and the destination port so we're using non-standard ports for this. So the destination and redirect port is 5051. So we're going to leave it other, and we're going to type that in, 5151. And 5151. Our target IP is 172.16.1.5. One thing just to back up here, so 5150, you could put in a range if you wanted to, because we're, we're not doing a range, we're just doing that one port. So we're saying 5151 to 5151, just, just that single address. Okay, and the target port is 5151. And now let's put in our description. So RDP, from LAN to web server using custom port. Okay, let's cross our fingers, see if I got it right the first time. Huzzah. So the key thing there was just making sure you choose the right, the destination type. And it's all about how things are plugged in. So on this router, they have the LAN they have one of the LAN addresses, one of the LAN interfaces acting as the DMZ. Okay, so I'm gonna score that and we're done.